Hey guys, welcome to my channel, my channel, Lunar Clips Tarot, aka Kelly, 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 <laughs> here with a general collective reading, yo, really quick shout out to Linda number 11, when I started my Patreon page, she was the 11th person to sign up, um, Mireille, I send you so much love, um, it's my birthday coming up, by the time this video comes out, my birthday will be gone, it's on the 15th of July, um, and she sent me this beautiful necklace, the giving tree, with matching, matching earrings, okay? So, ah, uh, so beautiful. She sent me a bunch of other stuff too. Lip plumping stuff, which I'm wearing right now. I don't really notice the difference, but okay. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into the reading. The person that is in your mind right now, on your mind, on your mind, in your mind, around your mind, running through your shits. All right, so. <sighs> How, uh, actually, fuck all that shit. So what, what does, what wants to come out? Okay, we got deception and then chemistry is in reverse so obsessed and deception so some of you may not even be aware that this person is maybe thinking about you or feeling some type of way about you <laughs> i don't know oh shit i feel like i need to look up the actual definition of obsessed paradise but it's in reverse look up uh to see exactly what that means all right <clears throat> we got talking waiting message arriving text call and email we also have soulmate so soul connection soul contract an agreement an agreement between the souls for this lifetime and kisses unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection and falling in love very beautiful warm vibes from all of that coming out and then on the bottom of the deck we've got hammer sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it okay palm tree working on stability okay working on being more stable being more secure for you for this connection and we've got love call and love Jeez, what else? We got clock. I'm just going to keep going until, okay, sunglasses, and then the coffin is in reverse. So we got palm tree. We got love. We got love call. We got clock and then sunglasses. I, you know, I know some of you like to see them. There they are. Okay, there, there's, there's the spread, okay? <laughs> For those of you that want to see it. All right, so someone expressing themselves, someone expressing how they feel, expressing the love that they have for you, wanting to talk to you more, wanting to communicate. Um, but right now, it may not be happening, okay? With the clock card, need time, takes time. They may be going through some type of cycle, maybe needing to heal. Um, what was it? Love call and then love, unconditional love, attraction, very attracted to you. And then uh, sunglasses, watching, looking, stock lighting, stock lighting. That's not even a word, okay? Stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. I always feel like somebody's watching me. And I can't get no privacy. Oh, if that resonates with you, look up the lyrics to it. I'm pretty sure that's Michael Jackson. God, I would be so embarrassed if that was. I'm pretty sure I the screeching in the voice that I'm <laughs> that I'm hearing. I think that's a Michael Jackson. Pretty sure that's a Michael Jackson tune. All right, what else? Some of you are going to be getting communication, okay? Someone expressing how they feel for you, not just communication, like hey, how you doing, but someone actually telling you how they're feeling. The song is Calm Down. <clears throat> Rima, everything will be okay. And why? Because everything is always working out. Everything is always working out. Next one is in reverse, so I'm not going to take it. Okay. We've got Thinking Out Loud, Ed Sheeran, and it says Soul Connection. 
There's definitely a connection between you and this person. All right. And the last one, love me like you do. Ellie Good Goulding. Goulding? Okay. And it says waiting. So maybe some of you are waiting, waiting for them to reach out. Maybe you've been waiting for them to reach out. Oh, man. Some of you, you know, you may have never been told by this person how they feel or what they have said may not have been the truth. Where can I put these so they are not in the way? All right. Maybe what it is, what it is that they have said um, was not the truth. Listen, if there's one thing that you guys get from this channel, fuck the readings, okay? Fuck, fuck all of that. To learn to trust yourself. It's one of the big, one of the biggest things that I want all of my people that watch these videos to really focus on is trusting your intuition, not giving away your power. I've explained where that comes from. Um, we'll get back into the reading. Trusting yourself. Okay, we got second chance and then longing in reverse. This relationship deserves a second chance. It deserves whatever you want to give into it. Okay, we've got unplug. We've got forgiveness and self-care. So um, I don't know why. Maybe some of you need to take a break from social media. Not even, not even just... Um, and unavailable this person is unable to give you all that you deserve we've got boundaries rejection release apology is in reverse as you're releasing it listen the forgiveness is not for your person forgive them and if they keep doing the same thing then you establish your boundaries you maintain your boundaries no you know this is how we're gonna roll okay taking care of yourself releasing releasing maybe some of you are feeling rejected feeling like your person is rejecting you they're just they're unable right now in this moment to give you what 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 it is that you deserve so if you're not receiving communication from this person again i really implore you to take that energy and focus it back on yourself <clears throat> doing things that you love because this connection is protected um this divine connection, soulmate connection, past life connection, whatever it is that you are feeling. That last one, or not the last one, uh, where was the thinking out loud, soul connection? Uh, the first one, my bad. The song, uh, the calm down song. It may be calm down, calm down. I couldn't get away from that song fucking forever. <laughs> Anyways, everything will be okay. Everything will be okay because everything is always working out. It's always working out. You're with your person. Everything is always working out. You're not with your person. Shit. Everything is always working out, okay? <laughs> Everything is always working out, spirit, okay? And in the next, in the, in the next magic trick, the cards that I'm going to pull uh, will reflect... <laughs> How everything is, oh, how everything is always working out. Okay, we got 1144. Dude, you can't make this fucking shit up, right? I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to take this one card. It says, high vibes. The very first literal uh, thing in here, divine intervention, prosperity, big ventures, faded events, faith, purpose, higher calling, love, or other happiness lurks just around the corner. It will be something much better than in your wildest dreams. A rare opportunity, an exciting encounter with like-minding people will exceed your expectations. I have this beautiful um, little thing. I've got to get it framed. It was at work and it says, always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. And I used to set it up in the window. Go out there with that energy of like, shit, the universe is going to bless me today. I'm going to get communication. I'm going to get the job of my dreams. I'm going to get the whatever. It, today is a good day. Today is going to be a beautiful day. Everything that my heart desires. And then you're in that energetic vibration to receive, to receive. Okay. Receive your communication from your person. Um, you know what? Let's do the headspace. 
headspace for this person <clears throat> what is going on like what is it that like what the fuck is their thing <laughs> like what the fuck are they thinking about when they think about you what is this person thinking about i immediately drawn as i said that looking down at the soulmates not the talking not the kisses not the hammer not the palm tree not the love call not the clock not the second chance <laughs> literally right to the soulmates and on and on that card two of cups but it's in reverse on actually I'm gonna take it followed by the chariot which is in the upright so again this is for their head space judgment is in reverse the knight of pentacles they are moving towards some type of communication they're moving towards you they're moving towards they're moving towards more than where the fuck they're at right now if you're feeling like you know i haven't talked to this person maybe they're stuck like what's going on kind of poking at them no you are the fucking empress not even just the empress you are the motherfucking empress i don't care you can curse not curse you know be 70 be 20 it doesn't matter that empress energy is so abundant it does not push its energy on anybody does not want to find out anything is completely content handling your own endeavors you know running errands taking care of your passions focusing on you the empress isn't like oh my god where's the emperor no he's gonna come when he's gonna come okay <clears throat> no pun intended <laughs> uh so soulmate energy again very very connected with your person they definitely feel that connection being in the headspace could be thinking about it a lot as well and then the chariots movement knight of pentacles is slow but it's still progress it's it's moving it's solid it's someone who's maybe contemplated a lot has thought a lot and is finally taking this action with the chariot and the knight of pentacles um you know, there could be a lot of things that this person is still trying to um, put behind them. You know, maybe healing some past traumas. <clears throat> Other relationships, uh, maybe even family traumas. Listen, the best <clears throat> way that I can explain how to receive your abundance, the universe is looking to pour into all of our cups, but some of our cups are only... How do I say? We have traumas and, and all of these past things that are within that cup and they're full. We have to purge all of that shit out in order for God to come in with our blessings, to come in with more abundance, with more things that, um, that we deserve, basically. Our cup is full. If the cup is full, you're not going to try to fill it up. You got to get rid of some of that. You got to get rid of it. <clears throat> Getting rid of it feeling in order to heal we got the high priestess yeah i your person knows you definitely know some of you may question yourself i see it in the comments too um it's normal you know to doubt and your ego will never comprehend a 5d connection we got the hanged man eight of swords in reverse Hey, Queen of Cups. Yeah, definitely. I feel like that's confirming with the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. There's already this knowing, but maybe because there's not any action in the 3D, you guys are questioning yourself, questioning the connection. There is love here. There is connectedness here. Even though they're... Um, you know, definitely contemplating, definitely thinking about things with the hanged man, maybe even feeling a little bit stuck. Even Again, even if the movement, the progress is slow, okay? Even if it is slow, there still is this understanding. And actually, um, I'm hearing an inner standing. So understanding and inner standing of this connection. All right, what's going on in their heart space? <clears throat> Got the nine of wands on the bottom, page of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, some of you are not getting any communication 
um, and you may be struggling with that, okay? We got the King of Wands. What else is going on for the Heart Space? The Five of Cups. Okay, the Knight of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles, the star is in reverse. So what is going on in this person's heart space? Ooh. <clears throat> I feel like, uh, you know, maybe with the Chariot and then the uh, Knight of Pentacles, that energy kind of like very quick energy and then like a slower energy. And then the Knight of Swords, very quick energy. I, I feel like this person at times has wanted to just pick up the phone and call you, like literally call you, love call, someone expressing themselves, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Now, very specific for some of you, if you are thinking about this person more than you normally do, it's because this person is thinking about you, maybe even um, on the verge of taking some type of action, again, calling you, reaching out, sending some type of message getting through to you I, you know just feels like uh both of you just may be tired tired maybe you're tired of the connection your person is tired of running <laughs> I, it's like you have dude it's like you have something in you where this person like they're um not not skeptic but just kind of like keeping their eye on you we did get the sunglasses they could be watching you or whatever but like literally just like um not even investigating just kind of like this smirky like uh like i i see this i see this i see you and again making them maybe want to reach out now definitely an energy of this person seeing you this is for women that are watching that can get pregnant okay as the mother figure okay as someone who um is very abundant as uh, someone who they could have a family with it's not going to resonate for all of you some of you um are no longer able to have kids but there really is such a longing even though it was it's still on the bottom and in reverse no that was apology i thought i saw longing in there somewhere and i don't think i pulled it at some point i might have showed it i don't remember anyways a sadness for you um almost a feeling of not wanting to be i got my mind set on you whenever i see the king of cups he's looking right at me again and then the nine of wands the way that she's just kind of like peering over It's almost like this person's like why am i doing this to myself feeling into things that maybe they have not been feeling into um and again wanting to communicate and very rapidly very uh very quick coming in their heart wants them to move really quick i feel like the mind is just sort of like ah eh, you know i don't know but there definitely is something um to do you know what i don't usually do these I'm going to pull a time frame card. This is a pre-recorded video that get that I've got two months right here. Pre-recorded video that I do that's then posted on Patreon. But I swear I hear like, Kelly, pull a time frame card. Like, when is it going to happen? No, you're the Empress. Stay in your lane. Keep focusing on you. Again, do things that you love. Get lost. Get lost in those things. Whatever it is, singing, dancing, um, playing games. We've got two months, okay? Dude, something to do with blue birds. So if you've been seeing birds, okay. Um, Bruno Mars talking to the moon. Look the lyrics up to that song. That's going to be a very specific uh, channeled message for some of you. Birds bringing a message. Okay, so you could be seeing 
blue jays or some type of blue birds. I don't really know my birds, but birds in general that are blue. Seeing these blue birds, I feel like is going to bring on some type of communication. So if you've been seeing birds or if you start seeing birds, also the number 12, I feel like this is going to be a sign for some of you. You may even want to tag this video, save it, come back to it at some point. Uh, maybe even put like a timestamp in there for it. <clears throat> and remaining positive, remaining not fearful. Yo, just because things are maybe not happening in the time frame that you want them to happen, continue just to be open to love, open to connection, open to everything. Okay? Remaining confident and secure in yourself. Um, I definitely feel this person could look at you as sort of being like um, their tower. You know, when they're going through things, when they're, go when they're having whatever issues they're having in their life. Wanting to reach out, wanting, wanting you to be there. And why? Because this person feels very comfortable with you. They feel very connected with you <sighs> I don't know my eyes are really drawn to weakness they may consider you to be like their weakness which could be why you know they're staying away but there's definitely you know you inspire them you inspire them to be a better person the passion the the love that they feel that they want to express it's almost like this person is like on fire for you. On fire for you. What else? <clears throat> and we've got dog, which is basically about loyalty. Number 18, faithful and true. Um, trusting in yourself, trusting in this connection. In no way when I say that am I saying to wait around for this person to come in to communicate to give it to give you what it is that you want removing them from the pedestal focusing again on yourself maybe even for some of you putting yourself out there and maybe dating other people just having different experiences I'll tell you um, Sometimes you don't know the love that's waiting for you and where it's going to come. So just be open. <clears throat> Children card here. So and then we've got separation in reverse. So it could be a coming together. Meeting you was an unexpected was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. So yeah, back to you being their tower. <laughs> tower, it could be a tower moment. Uh, it could be, you know, um, just everything that they're feeling completely caught this person off guard. Um, you've changed their world forever, feeling as lost as they lose their old identity. Feeling into things. Feeling into it. Again, the cup. You gotta dump that shit out. Pour that shit out. Purge that shit out. So that spirit, God, can pour back into us, guys. Get rid of that. We got the children. Children are affecting this connection. Be patient and allow them to resolve things for the highest good of all. Some of you, again, with the children coming out, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, you're going to have kids with this person, or you could be pregnant, or you've already had kids with them however that resonates with you um <clears throat> yeah i want to do like a non i'm gonna say non-binary deck but i, I want to do uh, that doesn't mean i don't think that makes any fucking uh sense i don't want anything with like twin flame or any of that shit in there although some of you could be dealing with a twin flame just keep in mind uh you know nobody can tell you what your connection is i stress that very hard there are a lot of readers out there um that 
will literally say, hey, like, pay me and I'll tell you who your person is. They can't fucking do that. They don't, they, <laughs> they can't fucking do that. So don't get, uh, don't get suckered into that. Definitely feeling like they need you to forgive them. Ah, oh, man. <clears throat> I feel like um, whatever it is that they need forgiveness for, that's something that they could be thinking a lot about as well. Maybe even wondering if you would forgive them. Um, maybe having experienced other situations where forgiveness was not so easy coming. And again, I say forgive them, but if they're coming back and you're entertaining the same behavior, then you just need to put you know, your boundaries up. No communication. Do whatever you need to do to protect yourself. I hope our paths will cross again in the future. Okay, so they didn't expect to meet you, but there's almost this expectation of coming coming um, around you, uh, maybe bumping into you. I love you so much, but I keep running from you. I don't understand why I do this. I feel like they also don't understand why they keep coming back. <laughs> I feel like, yes, running, running away from you. But why is it that they keep coming back? I feel like that's really what kind of confuses them is as much as they want to run away because they're not understanding the connection. They don't understand why they keep being drawn back, why they keep being pulled back. You could have asked this person about this specifically and maybe they didn't respond because they they don't know how to respond interesting no one makes me feel the way you do you are the best that i ever had so if this person's in their head and they're thinking like why do i keep coming back it's because you are comfortable you are home again the the way they feel connected to you cannot be found all i'm thinking about right now is how attracted i am to you i think about you so much it's scaring me i remember how we used to laugh and talk for hours about everything i miss you <clears throat> I get scared when being honest with you. It could be a scary thing. Um, you know, if you have like an anxious, anxious attachment style. I don't know. I don't know your specific situation, your person, really what's going on. Um, I could tell you they're definitely fucking thinking of you like nonstop. The thought of you drives me crazy. And no matter what happens, my heart will always belong to you. Thinking about you. Driving them absolutely fucking crazy. My heart will always belong to you. Yeah, I feel like for those of you that have not had any communication with this person, them coming in, again, it's not going to be a very simple, I do feel like this person is really going to tell you truly how they are feeling don't rush it again empress maintain your energy stay in your motherfucking lane stay in your motherfucking lane listen linda and the listen linda um i mean i guess I, I would feel if you're watching this reading this far into it now that you would already know the listen linda um thing there was this sweet, adorable little kid. I don't know if it was his grandma or his mom. And I don't know if he was trying to get cookies. I don't know what the hell he was trying to get. And he just, he would like uh, follow her around the kitchen and just said, listen, Linda, listen, but listen, but listen, Linda, listen, Linda. And then I dated a gentleman that would call me Linda. Um, so it just, it became something that I kind of incorporated in my channel. No way is it something that I created on my own. It was something that I'm using, okay? <clears throat> All right. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. 
When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Some of you literally could just surrender and be like, you know what? I can't do anything to control this person. I can't make them come in. I can't make them communicate with me. I can't make them feel anything. I can't, I can't do anything to control them. Just in that moment of surrendering, you could end up getting your communication. Stay positive. Stay positive. As positive as you can. Again, soul connection. Everything is always working out. Always working out. Okay? We got friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically <laughs> improve. Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. It definitely could be a new, like, founded feeling. You know, maybe, you know, they never really had a problem with you. Um, maybe they kind of questioned, you know, whether they did love you or, you know, like you or whatever. But I feel like there's all these things that are kind of brewing up inside of this person. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm hearing the word attacked. Specifically the word attacked. Um getting attacked maybe with signs maybe with just the feelings that they're feeling oh, i feel like this person is not normally um like really into like being romantic and and doing those types of things but there's something about you that makes them want to like buy you flowers and and send you like poems and um do like very romantic things like candlelit dinners like really just not only saying how they feel but really showing you how it is that they feel and more than just you know you know do you know do you know okay you say you know i don't know if you know <laughs> ah shit <clears throat> What else is it that this person wants you to know right now? I actually think for some of you, the idea of them thinking about you or, you know, maybe you feel like you've been waiting for so long that you're just not even, <laughs> it's not even a part of the fucking plan at this point. Um, I feel like even the idea of trying to resonate with that some of you you just it's hard for you to believe it's something um again hearing again save the video come back to this video make sure that you email me as well reach out to me somehow i like to hear from you guys especially when it comes to you know your person contacting you you know reaching out to you seeing you physically coming in and seeing you okay something about the songs because i'm seeing every song i hear reminds me of you those songs again and i held them all up i'm not going to repeat them go through and look up the lyrics to those songs okay this person's dreaming about you <clears throat> lots of dreaming about you every night could be dreaming about you connecting in that 5d space again replaying conversations i feel like every time i use this deck every time i use this deck this card comes out replaying conversations sorry for always holding back with you you're better off without me for now <clears throat> we did get that unavailable card so again, it's just for now. It's for now. No, we don't know what's going to happen. What's going to happen in the future. All we have is this very present moment. Eckhart Tolle, practicing the power of now, the power of now, embracing the present moment, not the future, not the past. What do you have right now? We're not even guaranteed. We're not, I'm not. It's 1130 in the morning right now. I'm not even guaranteed that I'm going to make it to the afternoon. I may die. Live every day like it's your last because one day it's going to be. Focus on you. Some of you that may trigger you. 
Yeah, if it's my last, I want to be with this person. You are so loved. So loved. Beyond your person. I recognize myself inside of you. I should be further ahead in life right now. Every song reminds me of you. It doesn't matter where I am or who I'm with. You always come to mind when I hear certain lyrics again. Those three songs and then the other shit that I was channeling. Look, look those up as well. We've got Twin Flame here. So some of you could be dealing with that otherworldly connection. Huh. <laughs> the secret mystery. There's a lot that this person wants to explore when it comes to you. Like every, every thought, every like interest, uh, interesting, every, every like detail of you. For some of them, that could be leading them to watch you because they want to find out more about you. Mm, your scent is addictive and I swear I can smell you when you're gone. Now I'm hearing wrapped around your finger. I'll be wrapped around your finger. I don't know if that's, is that the lyric? I'll be, ah. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I could be just, I could just be making that up. It's a guy that sings it. And I'll be, la, na, 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 ni, na. Let me try to see if I can hear the rest of that song. I don't know. Don't hold back. Jump in and give me all of you. Set the pace so that I can too. I'm sorry if I ever made you question your own worth. You are incredible inside and out. If you guys do believe that you're dealing with that otherworldly connection, I will just say the way that they make you feel is to help you heal. The, the way that they make you feel is to help you heal, okay? You triggered my spiritual awakening. Confirmation of what I was just saying, okay? If I could stay, I would. And I think that is, and I never wanted to hurt you, I'm sorry. I think that's the bigger thing. If you are dealing with that twin flame connection, again, are you Lulu? Have you always been? Have you always been obsessive? Have you always done this type of thing, this type of dance? Have you always felt super fucking connected? Did you find twin flames because you thought this person was and now they're not and then you're moving on to someone else and putting that box over them? Those are the questions that you have to ask yourself when it comes to your connection. But um, an unhealed masculine will do a lot of things. Now, there are so many different opinions on twin flames just your specific role in all of this is to connect with your soul to recognize that we are all one we are all connected to heal yourself to connect with source to heal yourself to connect with source the triggers that are brought about again are to help you grow spiritually to have them trigger your spiritual awakening <clears throat> but it goes both ways okay it goes both ways all right let's continue okie dokie i'm addicted to your body mind and soul when i picked that up that card i don't know it was like flipping off and it's actually it must be a card that maybe angel liked because it got some creases in it <laughs> it's got some creases in it all right you are just so perfect i'm sorry i keep messing up You may feel like this person maybe is doing things intentionally, you know, uh, they're doing it to provoke you, to hurt you intentionally. I feel like this person's very reflective. Um, did we not get the hanged man? We did. They're very, they're very much aware of their, of like their input into this connection and the things that they have done. Very aware that they could be affecting how you view yourself. Maybe some of you have even had a conversation with this person about how you feel about yourself because of how they treat you. But I, I think it really bothers them. And then also the forgiveness card. And there was another card that came out you know, kind of like asking to be forgiven. 
again, it may be something where they feel like it cannot be forgiven, not tolerated. Everyone, you know, depending on your morals and your values, everyone has different standards. And so just make sure you're choosing yourself. And by choosing yourself, <clears throat> it would literally be putting up your boundaries if something happens, you know, if you feel like you are being lied to, because we've got, I lied to you and I'm sorry. Um, I feel you sending doo -doo -doo energy my way and it takes me all of my self-control to not come ravage you. I talk to you within my mind all the time. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? Do you answer me? I swear you do. I'll be wrapped around your finger. That's going to drive me insane. I'm truly in love with every piece of you. You know what? I am going to, where am I at? 40 minutes. I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to cut this part out. I'm going to try to look for that song because uh, it's driving me fucking insane. Ah. Yo, 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 I'm back. Okay. Um, It is uh police, the police, and it is wrapped. I think it's wrapped around your finger is what it said. All right. Sorry, that was driving me insane. I didn't even know if I was saying the lyrics right. That's just what I was hearing. I do love you and want to spend time with you. I love your spirit. You shine like a star. You stole my heart. You also need to remember that the way that this person can make you feel in this connection, that... Again, it is for you to cleanse your cup, to get rid of all of those feelings, because your person is only triggering these things that are not the root of why you feel that way. I'm committed to improving myself. You inspired me to grow and heal. Committed. Knight of Pentacles. Again, slow ass fucking energy you might as well be walking backwards i'm just kidding <laughs> it's it's <clears throat> it's coming but it's literally maybe sloth mode and again every you know time is irrelevant this is a timeless reading time is something that the humans have constructed it does not exist in the ethereals in heaven it, there is no such thing as time take advantage of the time that you have to yourself because this person is coming. You're the destination I seek, my reason to grow. Because of the things that maybe you're not tolerating. And this person desires you. They have love for you. So if you're not tolerating things that they have normally done in other connections, in their past, whatever it is, you're going to force them to grow. I get insecure when it comes to you and nervous and overwhelmed in your presence. Okay? Definitely you turn this person on like they're very attracted to you, very attracted to you. You are always on their mind. Dude, nights are the worst for me. It's as if all my feels are amplified because they don't have any distraction, any d distractions. They don't have no distractions. Okay. I'm just not ready right now. I'm sorry. Definitely a little going back and forth little premature energy please let me back in when i come i'll die if i lose you forever i've checked on you to see if you're with someone else you could have anyone that you want yeah like if some of, if it's resonating with you that you feel like maybe you're not this person's type or they're not attracted to you or whatever it is that maybe your insecurities are when it they don't really want you all of these things no no, maybe some of you need to work on some sats just to, to change your inner dialogue with yourself. You are so desirable. You are so attractive. You are so beautiful. They can't get enough of you. Can't get enough of you, okay? You know it. You know it. And say it until you do know it. <clears throat> I want to tear your, I can't say that. They definitely, something again to do with your scent, because this is the second 
This is the second card where scent came out, leaving my scent and prints all over what belongs to me. Yeah, there definitely is a sense of you belonging to them. I run because I'm just no good right now. I'm terrified of losing you due to my inability to be vulnerable. And I know we have a connection unlike any other. Sometimes I try to deny it, but I can't ignore the signs that I receive. So you can keep questioning the connection, but just keep in mind, uh, <sighs> the mind will never be able to understand the 5D connection that you have with this person. Never. Never? Never ever? Never ever, never, 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 never. And last card. I'm sorry I ne never gave you any closure, but I don't want this to end. I feel I need you in my life to some degree or it will all fall apart. And then I can't watch TV anymore without reminders of us coming on the screen. Movies, commercials, comedy, action, all have pieces of us in them. Next one is in reverse. Um, I, you know what? Where are we at? I, I just, I uh, guess I will kind of incorporate and extend it into this reading only because this love blocks deck that I'm using, I only use it in the extended videos that I do. All right. Faded to be alone on the bottom of the deck. Excuses in reverse. So. The card says you gave up on love because you think you're meant to be alone. It's not true. That could be some of the things that they're struggling with, you know, maybe feeling like, yeah, they are going to end up alone. The, you know, the behaviors, how they act, how they run, how they don't even understand why they're running, how they don't even understand how they feel so drawn back to you, um, that maybe they'll just end up being alone. And so, yeah. You know what? I actually resonate with that. I resonate with that. Look at Moses. He let everybody, okay? And then he didn't even make it to the promised land. We got retreating, but... I don't know. The way she's fucking looking at me. The way she's looking at me, okay? Definitely being watched. Your fear of being hurt was made, has made you retreat. It's time to get out and try again. And then feeling unloved. Interesting that this depiction is with a dog. They are loyal to you, even if they're not, even if they're dealing with somebody else. Those experiences, I, I, I fucking hear the feedback, Kelly. No, they, they can't be loyal to me if they're dealing with other people. That's their experience. That's their journey. Focus on your fucking journey. The people that they're dealing with, that doesn't mean that they hold any more loyalty or any more love to that person. That's the experience and the cycle that they are in that they need to deal with that you cannot help them with. Okay? Feeling unloved. You deserve someone who can support you emotionally and love you fully. And they're fucking aware of it. They're aware of it. So why? Why Why would they stay away? Why would they run away? Why would they do the things that they're doing? If they know that they're not ready, they don't want to fuck it up. They already feel like they've messed it up. We had a few cards like they messed it up, fucked it up, fucking it up. They don't want to fuck it up. This person does not want to fuck it up. They've been fucking up so much. They know they don't have many more times to fuck it up. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. It depends, again, on you and your situation and what you're willing to tolerate with your person. Okay. Um, anything else? Do I want to take this to an extended? What else can I do in the extended? You know what? Uh, again, let's just, I guess, let's just do it now. Whatever. Whatever, okay? <clears throat> what kind of action is this person planning on taking? What kind of action? If any action, okay, we got the Two of Wands, the Nine of Cups, 
temperance yeah you need to fucking just be patient we got the knight of cups but it's in reverse so as far as action i feel like right now again they definitely you know twos are about making a choice the two of wands making a decision um i do feel like there is planning i do feel like there is progress towards what oh picking up the retreating don't you run away when this person comes in and wants to make something good with you or wants to come correct or whatever it is don't run away don't run away don't be defensive stay in the present moment okay um both of, literally both of you coming together and getting everything that you desire with that nine of cups just no longer dreaming about you and being with you but actually being with you and you're just being asked to balance your energy and to have patience um and i love obviously temperance and i was talking about the cups and filling up the cup and if your cup is full okay if your cup is full you can't receive anymore if your cup is filled with, you know, I don't know, we got to get rid of some orange juice and some apple juice and whatever, you know, the trauma, the sadness, whatever it is that's been building up in your cup for as long as you've been alive, we got to get rid of some of that so that we can get love poured into us so that we can get some other beautiful things poured into us. Why? Because you are deserving, dude. It is your motherfucking birthright to be abundant. The human condition, we're here to clear generational ancestral karma, okay? Biggest thing is they avoid it. Avoidance, okay? Avoiding it. Don't avoid it. Feel it for the love of God. Feel it. Feel it. For those of you that are sick and tired of waiting, you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, and you just don't fucking know, pour into yourself, okay? Anyways, um... No, I, I feel like this is a pretty in-depth reading. I don't really see the need for an extended and wink, wink. I, I can't really, I don't know how to fucking flirt. Um, <laughs> for those of you that, you know, comment that you can't afford, you know, the extendeds, here you go. Um, I usually pull action cards and, you know, love blocks and, and those types of things in those extended readings. So there you go. Anyways, if you're new to my channel and you dig my vibe, but not my voice because I can't fucking sing and I don't really care. Please subscribe. Okay, bye.